what's up everyone and welcome to a page a day where today we are turning a new page of life amen my name is j page <laughs> okay i had a brain freeze the moment i start recording my phone is like going off of notifications what's up everyone all right so today is gonna be a really quick video um it's just um a question i get often from people and it is not on here like no one's asked me on here but i mean just like in my day-to-day -day life over over the years people have wondered like why i'm single and things like that and pretty much plain and simple i am single because i refuse to settle all right um i tried to dip my toes in the dating pool and it was ghetto the dating pool was dirty and i don't do dirt you know so that is the short version of all the craziness i've encountered while trying to do things in my own ability and in my own strength and um more recently most recently while I'm, while i've been in this season of you know the wilderness season but thank god i'm coming out of it thank you jesus um but in the wilderness season god has just been really drawing like close to me and really making it impossible for me to get around him and making making it hard for me to do anything without him approving it and so things that i've done, done in the past in my own ability um i'm not able to do that anymore like now it's like i have no option but to trust god a really big area in my life where i'm trusting god is for him to connect me with my husband and i'm gonna be honest i haven't had much information about my husband i have a list of things that i would like him to be um but i haven't really gotten concrete information from the lord in terms of oh he's gonna do this specifically or look this way or be so i don't know i don't know where he is right now <laughs> I don't know if he's in the country, if he's out the country, I don't know. But I'm saying that to say that one thing I do know is that being a child of God, we don't have to settle. Because God will do exceedingly above what we ask or think. He's always going to go beyond. So the best scenario that you can ever possibly imagine, he can exceed that by hundreds and thousands and millions. Like he, we serve a God who has no limits. The true and living God. He has no limits. He has infinite ways he can bring two people together. And so I did this, y'all. That's four. <laughs> two people together. So the, this video may seem kind of random, but the reason why I'm really posting this is because I had a recent dating experience where it seemed like it was going good. Um, and it's not that the person is like some evil, wicked person or nothing like that. It's just the guy is not my person. You know, like I always test things by the spirit and I know when there's like a disconnect. And the hard part is sometimes we meet people who are almost everything we want. And some sometimes we can kind of settle or, okay, you know, I can go without this or go without that. But there are some cases where you just can't do that because one thing that I didn't want to do um, was idolize a relationship because what I told myself, what the Holy Spirit revealed to me is my husband will never complete me. Only God can complete me. My husband can't deliver me. He can't save me from anything. He He's not God. My husband is, is not God. Um, when I go on to have children, you know, I can't idolize my children. Regardless, at the end of the day, it's always going to be me and the Lord first. Before I can be good for myself, good for my future husband, good for my future children, good for my friends, I have to be good with God first. And so in this season, God has really been showing me that it is him and him alone. All things are through him. All things are through him. And I must do all things through him. Thankfully, he's been shutting everything down because if he was still allowing things to happen in my own strength, honestly, like 
my faith would not have grown as much as it's grown. I wouldn't have the peace that I have now because I just decided to surrender. You know, I I was tired of fighting God in a lot of areas in my life. And I know he was tired of me fighting him too. And so it got to a point where just at every turn, things have been shut down, where the only thing I can do is look up and say, I give up. You know, like I give up my will for yours. And that has been the most amazing decision that I've ever made. I have such peace now. And I always want to be on God's agenda, not my own. That's been the focus of this, this wilderness period. Other things, but that's like the main focus. And so um, other people might, I don't know, like, you know, men and women will just ask me, why aren't you dating? And, uh, and it seems like, hey, you seem like a great person. And and I'm just, you know, it sounds cliche to say, oh, I'm waiting on God. But the thing is, it's true. I have a lot of things to do and to accomplish, period, and especially in my singleness. And God, I just have this sense that God really wants me to himself to really um, create like that intimacy where it doesn't matter what amazing man he brings me, amazing children or opportunities or money, whatever the case that I will never forget about him. And um, in this season, I have been uh, reading, studying, just meditating on Deuteronomy 8. Oh, I should know this. Deuteron Deuteronomy, what is it? Eight, eighteen, six, in Deuteronomy where it says, um, "Do not forget the Lord your God, for it is He who causes you to get wealth or you know to be successful." And just using that across the board, God wants to make sure that we're not going to leave Him, because He knows that His blessings are so amazing. It has the potential to be like, "Oh, we don't need God no I, You know, I'm not going to pray as much and. Not that we just don't completely need him anymore, but oh, I don't got to pray as much. And, I'm gonna... and God wants us to have the same intensity for him that we have in the wilderness. We He wants us to keep that same intensity in the promised land. The promised land covers a multitude of things. You know, um, for some people, it is finally um, being married um, or, or, you know, business success or just success in, in areas where you've been believing for for years. And some of us, we have multiple areas we've, we've been standing on faith on for years and it's all about to, to happen for us and so it's so important that no matter how close you get you don't settle for the counterfeit and that's that goes for anything don't settle for a, a counterfeit you know everything is not Satan's fault you know some people do stuff and they be like oh the devil maybe do it so I'm not saying everything is sometimes we just make our own decisions to do things because Satan is not everywhere at all times. Um, however, sometimes Satan will send you something that looks so much like the real thing. And it's only by discernment and by the Holy Spirit that you know it's not the right thing. And I would say don't get frustrated in that, particularly speaking about relationships. Don't get frustrated. You know, sometimes like ladies, I know like I'll meet. I've met guys and be like, man, if I could just change this or do this, he would just be, but, and, and that used to frustrate me, but I'm saying that to say there, God has already designed someone for you who's going to compliment you where you don't have to go in and think about what you can change. And I've never gone in to try to say, I'm going to change this about a guy, you know, but, um, if it ever crosses my mind, like, ooh, I, this will need to change for me. Listen, just leave it, in, leave it up to God, put it in God's hands, because it is very, 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 very important who you marry. It's very important who you marry. And from the example that I had growing up, in terms of marriage, I am making it a point to do things the right way, okay? Because... Who you decide to marry can destroy you. It can make or break you. So um, that is why I am single. I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there relate to me as well. Just trying to stay close to God and um, love God for God and not for what he can do for you. That's That was my conviction. Um, and so, you know, I 
the way I see it is that even when I do meet my husband, I can't put him before God. I can't forget about God. I can't, you know, like my husband will never be my God. Only God can be your God. You, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't idolize any of that. And he's, I feel like he's, God has been testing me so much to see like where my heart truly lies. And I've just gotten to the point where like a recent dating experience I had, like I said, I thought I was going good. And then I realized quickly, like there's a spiritual disconnect and this person goes to church and I assume is saved. Um, didn't even get that far in the conversation, but I don't have to because I already know what I need, you know? Um, but normally like the old me would have been very upset about it and, and angry with God, like, because I was ignorant. But now that I know how this goes, I'm at peace and I actually felt relief just ending it and being okay with with ending it and not you know taking it a step further so um this is encouragement for all my sisters out there i know y'all like y'all are beautiful y'all are amazing you're intelligent and i know sometimes you may think like man not on no braggy stuff but i'm the full package and i would just be so amazing to a wonderful man of god i would be so amazing to you know to my future children where's my man why does it seem like everybody else is just easy for them to just you know get married or however and i'm still over here waiting and you know not necessarily that you're pressed and that you're desperate but it's a desire you know like it it's a desire and it's natural it's normal but even with those questions floating around in your head just know that there's nothing wrong with you it's just a process quality things take time and God's timing is perfect and when God brings it together there's going to be so much peace with it and you're going to be so happy that you didn't fall for what was close but you fell for what was right on the money you feel me so yes and you know my brothers out there y'all kind of got it hard too because y'all have to sift through the ladies who really there for you too she a real woman of god like she just trying to use me for something or she like y'all go through the same so i mean similar things as well so i'm not saying like y'all just got it easy like y'all gotta pray about finding your wife like you all have a a heavy task to do the pursuing and you know Y'all are handsome and intelligent and y'all the full package too and y'all got to sift through a whole lot. You know, we can just kind of like sit back and wait like, you know, <laughs> kind of sort of. Um, but the men, like men are the, like the hunters, you feel what I'm saying? So pray for your husband. All right. I started praying for mine. Pray for your husband by faith. You already know he's somewhere on this planet. So pray for him <laughs> because he might be struggling or having a hard time at the moment. Just that's what I've been doing. Y'all can do that too. If you like, if marriage is a desire for you, men out there who are looking for their wives, pray for your future wife because she might be getting really discouraged. Like right now she might be with some knucklehead who's getting on her nerves and it's, you know she needs some help getting out of that so y'all just let's let's pray for our future spouses and in god's perfect timing this is not to pray to get them to you sooner okay this is just to pray that wherever they are whatever season that they're in that god keeps them covers them you know perfects them but you're going to meet them when God says you're going to meet them. And that's just on period. Like, <laughs> I'm at the point now where I'm just like, like I said, I've surrendered. I'm not messing with God's timeline. No more, y'all, because the stories I can tell you all, just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. That is my video for today. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.